top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Marisa and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Ode to Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye is an Irish gamer. He has a wonderful gaming channel. He currently lives in England. He has over 23 million subscribers and he is absolutely one of my favorite YouTubers. Wonderful personality, great sense of humor, and I just love him. PewDiePie, many years ago, gave him a shout-out. And the reason why he gave him a shout-out is because he has a wonderful channel, and that shout-out actually helped his channel grow to what he is today. As you know, this is Mark. Jack and Mark have a company called Cloak Together. They sell clothes specifically for gamers, um, but of course anyone can wear these clothes. It's an amazing brand. This is one of my favorite games and it is called Happy Wheels. If you ever want to laugh, if you want to have a great laugh and joke around, please go watch this game. It is amazing. It has uplifted me so many, many times. One of my favorite games of his is called Undertale, and he does amazing voices for each character. I came in picture watching this game uh, without him doing it. He just made this game just perfect. Please go check out Undertale. And another one of my favorite games that he's played is called Night in the Woods. And it also he does many different characters' names. It is one of my favorite favorites. So Jack has really uplifted me throughout the years. He's an amazing YouTuber. He is dedicated, hardworking, great sense of humor. Our community is just one of the kindest, nicest communities. And I just want to thank Jack. Hey Jack, if you ever listen to this, if you ever watch this video, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much I love your channel and I wouldn't know what to do without you. Thanks, Jack. Hey guys, I am back. I must have scared the heck out of most of you, but I just want you to know he is, now his real name, I forgot to put it in the intro, but his real name is Sean McLaughlin, okay, but you know, we all call him Jack or Sean, doesn't make a difference, he answers it both. Um, he is an incredibly high energy guy, his channel is very high energy, he's loud, he's boisterous, he's funny, so you know what? It is perfect because I think we all could use a laugh. We could all we could all use some uplifting, you know, to be uplifted. What's going on? So I am going to show you what I am doing today. Now there's a lot of stuff out here. We are not doing all of this today. I just want to give you a little preview of some of the stuff we are doing. Now this is in dedication to Jack or Sean and this is also happy St. Patrick's Day it is a little late but it is okay I wanted to work on this video a little bit longer so let's get started so what do we have here besides the wonderful St. Patty's Day decorations in honor of Jack so we have a lot of stuff here this is actually this is so cool. This is like four leaf clover glitter. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, you can. It's so, so nice. Isn't it nice when my camera decides to focus? So <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff going on. So this is um, a wreath with the clovers on it. And I am going to be using this. Um, I'm going to make something on it. And also we're going to add something to it. I'm going to get to that in a minute. This is the clover. Now on this one, I was thinking of actually using the colors of the Irish flag, okay? And the Irish flag colors are white, green, and orange, okay? So I think that's what we're gonna start off with today. So we're gonna do some white, 
green and orange I'm just gonna pour right on there and then we're gonna add some of this wonderful four-leaf clover glitter we may add some other things too we actually may add a couple of these guys maybe this I don't know I'm really high energy right now so we're gonna add some stuff to that afterwards but we're basically gonna make Today, we're just going to make an Irish flag on the clover, okay? So, we're going to use this. And the preview is uh, for the, because this, this series is probably going to be, it could be three to four videos, okay? So, we are, for this one, now I'm going to go back to this and I'll put the, um, the materials for this one in the next video. But we are going to use primarily greens and the gold, okay? And these are the colors we're going to use for that one, but I'll put the materials for that one again. It'll be um, the lime, the lime fizz, the spring green, and the ink and gold. But we're going to leave this for. We're actually going to use this at, for something else as well. So here, and I remember I told you that I was going to save this as a surprise. Let's just put this here for now. I got this mold specifically for this series. So this is just, you know, alpha numeric, um, an alpha numeric mold. And I could use this for anything. I can make keychains out of it, whatever I want to do with this. This is kind of cool. I can make someone's name uh, with resin. I could do, you know, very personalized things. I could do birthdays, whatever I want. What I am going to do is not in this video, but in the other videos, I'm going to spell out Jacksepticeye, okay, in resin, and I'm going to use all different color uh, micas. Actually, one of his favorite colors is red. It doesn't have to be all greens. This is in dedication to him, so one of his favorite colors is red. So definitely going to use some red. Uh, we're going to do some of those sprinkles. We're going to go crazy, and we're going to spell out Jacksepticeye. So after we do that, okay, we are going to then put the resin on. This is my idea. So we're going to take the resin letters, and we're going to put it on here. So basically, I'm going to put Jacksepticeye down there. Okay, that's my idea. Now, if for some reason these letters don't fit, we're just gonna still gonna make the resin Jacksepticeye anyway. And that what we'll do is after I do the pour on here, uh, we could decorate it. We have tons of stuff to decorate with. You could actually put some of these on if I wanted to. For some reason, if there's not enough room, if these letters are too big. So we'll see when we get to it, all right? So first things first, we are going to take this guy, get back up here you, and we are going to do the Irish flag today, all right? We're going to do the Irish flag, and these are the colors right here. It's titanium white. It is, what's this color's name again? Shocking Lime Green by Arteza, my new one. And I did not use this color yet. This is Shady Orange, okay? And I am going to add some Floetrol to these two colors, and I'm not going to add anything to here. And remember, I just used these uh, yesterday. It is the Arteza, the Iridescent um, kit that I just got. Okay, and then afterwards, we're going to add some of these, and I got these specifically for this video series as well. I've been dying to take this out. I've had this for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. We're going to use some of this wonderful uh, shamrock, that's what it is, shamrock glitter, okay? And that is what we're going to do today. So let's keep it high energy. You can hear a lot of... Uh, Jack loves like metal and rock. I'm going to use a lot of rock in my music today. It's all about him and it's all about, you know, for me just saying an appreciation to him, to his channel, and please go check it out. I am definitely going to link his channel below, so go check out his channel because if you really want to laugh, please go check it out. 
it's hysterical. Okay, you'll love it. And he, I mean, yes, it's a lot of games, but he does do all other types of videos as well. And he really is a great uh, voice. Uh, he creates amazing voices for all these characters in his games. And it actually makes you relate to those characters. It actually makes you care about the characters. And like, whenever I see this game, I literally can't watch the game being played by anyone else but him. So, that's how good he is at that. And he loves doing it too. So, stay tuned. We're gonna, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to mix some of my paints there. And we will get started with the pour today. Alrighty, I will be back in a minute.
Hey guys, I am back. So, this is a really cute Irish flag. This is like perfect, you know, for decoration, decorating your house. Um, just like a little quick pour. You know, this is just like pouring some colors over. Nothing crazy. Um, but I did use that Celtastic. Where is it? I put it back. It's right there, which I usually use for the Primal Flow. And it didn't do a whole heck of a lot here okay didn't do anything in these colors i thought it would do something but you know what this iridescent it is going to dry gorgeous and look at this wait until it dries and you're going to see this beautiful shamrock glitter you see it shimmering already and i like how it kind of blended just a little bit in the middle but nothing crazy i did want it to keep it because i wanted it to look like a flag the irish flag so i wanted to keep it separate the colors but i like the way it did blend just a little bit in here and those cute little shamrock glitters um it's actually confetti excuse me I, I misspoke it's confetti but we are going to use them in the resin as well that's why i also bought them because we can use it for everything so that's awesome and then i decided to go absolutely insane and use some of my table uh decorations in here but i also figured that you know what um, I could use this for decoration for the table, but also if I wanted to, I could add some 3D elements to this really adorable um, shamrock and just go crazy with it, which I did because this is all about Jack Septiguy and his wonderful channel, and this is a dedication to him. So guys i hope you enjoy this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos if you want you could follow me on social media my links are below as well as all the materials i have used today Day. If you want to support me further, you can support me by uh, going on my PayPal, leaving a donation, or if you anyone is interested in buying any one of my paintings, you can hit me up on my email, which is also listed below. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one, and the next one will probably be part two. All right, guys, bye.